Hello everyone, good morning. I am here now in Ipoh for my first Malaysia travel vlog. I'm so excited. Right now I'm over here at Kampar and we will have a pit stop also to Ipoh for a nice travel adventure. So guys, here I am at Kampar. It is now about 8 a.m. I'm heading now for breakfast. So our first destination is the Kampar Food Court which is a very famous place for all kinds of local food in Malaysia and you can find it right here under one roof. So we just had a really good breakfast at this food court area and Kampa is actually a pretty old town with a small population. It was founded in 1887 actually and it was because of the mining industry that this place boomed up to become what it is and a very quaint town with a lot of local food. So I would come here basically just to eat and eat and eat. <laughs> Look at all of the biscuit selections they have over here. These are all um, childhood sweets that I grew up with, especially with this one with the rainbow patterns on it. So good and yes, very traditional. So our next stop that we're going to right now is called Kelly's Castle which is an abandoned castle built probably about 100 years ago and uh, it's quite a historical site to see. How are you feeling Amanda? Hot. Hot? So hot. What's the weather now like? I don't know, 20, 30 something maybe. 31? <laughs> Yeah, we're all sizzling up here. You can see the sun, it's really hot. There, there, there. We just finished going into Kelly's Castle. It's unbearably hot. It's right behind me. I'll show you guys in another vlog. But now, uh, we're gonna go to Ipoh, I think, and um, head for somewhere colder. It's just too hot. But check out this brown river behind me. Quite nasty. Look at that. Oh yeah, they have my favorite childhood drink, Kikapu Joy Juice. This drink is so good, so refreshing. It tastes like lime actually, and I just need it now. <laughs> I'm literally dying of heat. Oh, someone's playing the flute. We are here now at Ipoh, third largest city in Malaysia and it is really bustling. You can see there's so many cars behind me. And it has a lot of colonial era Chinese shops with a large population, 50% are Chinese. So you will see a lot of old school buildings with Chinese names. And also um, on my right. So a lot of Chinese food here too. Even our lunch that we're going now is Chinese food. This place we're going to now is famous for its salted roast duck. Look at that. Fresh cool air. Oh, Chinese food is so good. And here it is. This is roast pork and this is also okay. barbecue pork. Over here we have tofu covered with a bit of mushrooms. And the last dish we have sweet potato leaves. The last but not least, the one we came here for, smoked duck. Let's look at that succulent slices. You can still see the tender meat that is in the middle, slightly pink. I think this is gonna taste so good.
Alright, we are standing outside this Chinese confectionery pastry shop. Just look at the line. It's so long. And they are selling um, Chinese local biscuits like Tao Sapia. Over there you can see the amount of it. So much, but the line is just too long, so I don't think we're able to buy it. Okay, we are here entering our hotel room at Will Hotel. Let's see. Wow, okay, very nice. Very clean, I guess. You can see this is our beds. Oh, they're so nice and plush. And we have this wooden uh, structure over here. Really comfy and cozy. And over here we have a picture of the St. George School. I think it's called St. George. Also in Ipoh. So, very local touch to this place. So this is our place for the mm. night. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh wow, it started raining guys. Look at it, this is our view though, on the ninth floor. And we're just gonna rest for a while, it's just been too hot, we're just sweating all the while. And probably after this we're gonna go to Kampong Kacang Puteh, hopefully if we are. Um, and after that, walking around the shopping mall area which is connected to our hotel. Real Hotel is connected to Ipoh Parade, which is one of the biggest shopping malls here. And probably try a few cafes if they are open. I know there are actually quite a few in uh, Ipoh, but first, probably a rest. I see you're using my smartphone gimbal. <laughs> I know, I used to use that a while. But your phone is just too big and heavy for the gimbal. It looks like the balance is falling out. Oh man. I'm here now at Kampung Kacang Puteh, a place famous for selling local snacks, mostly Indian snacks also because this area is predominantly populated by the Indian community. So, as you can see behind me, it's a very bustling place. And a lot of tourists do come here to buy all the local snacks as um, tourist gifts and also to eat at home. So as we enter, we can see just the amount of uh, crispy snacks that they have here. Some of them I do know as I ate them as a child. This one's one of my favorite. It's something called keropok. Another famous one is the pinwheel uh, snacks. Just look at the amount of snacks they have over here. It's insane. What's this? Oh, I know what's this. This is uh, the coffee biscuit, right? <laughs> yeah. What does it say? It just says uh, roti biscuit, which means biscuit bread. And this is the old school biscuit where you dip in your hot black coffee and you eat it as a snack. Very tasty. Just trying out uh, food samples that they give, which you can ask them, and they give you some of the Indian local snacks to try. It's really sweet, though, like very sweet. Wow, mom, we bought a lot of snacks. What we bought? Your father, your father one, one packet, one give Auntie Tina, the rest give all office. Wow, that's a lot of snacks. Once I put office, all gone. I know, right? Alright, what an adventure guys for this whole part 1 of this trip. Don't forget to subscribe, I will do a part 2 really soon on my adventures in Impo and Kampa and more to cover. It's really been an amazing day, but it's time to rest. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!